Hello and welcome to my uh, another edition of my um, iPod Void Warranty Take Apart kind of tutorial things. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to disassemble a iPod um, Nano second generation. Uh, this one happens to be blue. Um, tools for this you're going to need are a flat blade um, screwdriver. Um, if you have more than one size, it's great. Um, make sure it's ranging between a um, 1.4 millimeter and a uh, 3.0 um, millimeter. Um, you may need a range. Um, sometimes a smaller one's better. Sometimes a bigger one's better. Um, I wouldn't go much bigger than that though, because then you just get too big and it becomes awkward and sometimes it doesn't fit. Um, and a you're going to want a um, number zero. I think that's how they interpret it. It's the pound sign zero uh, Phillips uh, screwdriver. Um, and you're going to want to um, make sure your iPod um, does not have to be sent back to Apple for a warranty issue because warranties are voided um, after this procedure would be done. Um, uses for this procedure could be remove the LCD, uh, change the click, click wheel design, maybe you want to paint one, I don't know why you would want to do that, but just in case you would want to. Um, say something broke, you don't want to replace it by something off eBay. Just use this tutorial to take it apart and you can get it most of most any of the components of the iPod with this tutorial. Alright, let's get started. Okay, to start out um, this tutorial, I guess, um, first step is to take your flat blade um, screwdriver and on the bottom um, you're going to um, uh, small screw, small flat blade screwdriver and kind of pry up. All right, next um, next item of business is to take out the screws. We're still in the bottom here. Um, there is one screw right there and another one on the other side of the dock port, so it's going to be like right there. Um, there are three. So don't be like trying to go all gung ho after you get these first two out, because there is another one that Apple, um, I guess you could say they hit it. Um, I don't know. I suppose yeah, you could say that. Um, underneath the headphone jack. Um, so how we're going to get to that one is once you take out the two screws that are visible, you're going to lightly, very lightly pry up under the um, white portion, I guess, kind of get it underneath it, and it slides right, as you can see, it slides right out, and be very careful with this as it's still connected. Is pretty far. You don't want to go too far though. Um, okay. It'll kind of... You'll be able to tell when you're supposed to stop. Um, you'll be able to get it about, out about that far. Um, the screw, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's along the side of the wall of the iPod. I'm doing a terrible job of trying to locate it. Okay, on the it is on the left side or sorry, right side of the screen. Um and yeah, it's a Phillips, so you're gonna use your small Phillips and Okay, I did. There we go. There it is. What we are going to do now is take a uh, flat screwdriver and the um, metal plate.
kind of um, yeah metal plate. We are going to take that up. And you just kind of, there we go, and it snaps out, which is good. And don't push it back in, because then you have to do that all over again. Okay. There we go, okay. There is, um, here's where um, the other screw was down inside of the iPod. So we are now going to um, pry the um, ribbon. Get that out of the way. The ribbon from the board. Um, you can just kind of slide a um, flat blade uh, screwdriver in there and lift it up off of the. Board. Okay, now if you did that right, we should now be able to continue on to the now top. Looking at the top of um, the iPod Nano, we are going to um, start out the same um, as we did with the bottom. Um, like on the bottom, only I'm pretty sure there's only two screws. Um, this time, but there are two screws, one on each side of uh, the top. Um, yeah, so let me take those out. There's one. Okay, that glue that is holding the hold switch on actually is like covering this last screw. Um, try not to scrape all the glue away, but you're obviously going to have to take some of it because you can't really do much when it's covered in glue. And the second screw was almost as easy as the first. Okay. Now we got the two screws out and we're going to continue with the disassembly. Now should be able to theoretically of course do um, very gently, um, don't be very forceful when you do this, push the essentially the guts of the iPod, push it out through the top. Um, so here's here's all the parts we got. We got the circuit board and LCD screen, the outside casing with the headphone jack still attached. Um, we'll go into that in another video. Uh, we'll, I guess we'll take it apart more if I so desire to. Um, the top and bottom bezel. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not though. And that's probably not even the right part. But this is the metal bracket that was in the bottom of the um, iPod by the dot connector. And here's the top part that is still connected with the hold switch.